So someone on my last video about how hackers bypass user account control asked for a demonstration on how it works. So here it is. I recommend watching the other video first because it explains the basics of how a user account control bypass works. Whereas this is going to be more of a demonstration. Now, in order to get the auto elevated app to load your malicious DLL, you have to get it into the system 32 folder. Now there are some old tricks to do this, but I found a new one by a guy named Daniel Jebber, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to demonstrate that instead. So the technique is called mock directories and basically what Daniel found out is that Windows doesn't handle trailing spaces in directory names very well. So if we create c colon slash windows space, the system actually thinks it's the same as c colon slash windows, but because we actually created a directory ourselves, we have control over it and we can write whatever we want there. So we can create c colon slash windows space system 32 and the system thinks this is the real system32 directory. So I wrote a very simple DLL. All this does is run command prompt.exe and this is gonna get loaded by the auto elevate software and it's gonna run the command prompt as admin rather than standard user. Next, we're gonna copy our fake DLL to the fake system32 folder along with a real auto elevate application. For this, I've chosen print UI. Now, as you can see, print UI has the little shield that says it can only be run as administrator, but when we run it, it doesn't bring up any kind of UAC prompt. That's because it's an auto elevate application. Next, we need the name of the DLL that is loaded by print UI, and it actually loads one called print UI.dll. So we're gonna rename our malicious DLL to that. Now, when we open print UI, it'll load our malicious DLL, which will open command prompt as administrator. Now notice how if I open registry editor normally, it spawns a UAC prompt, but if I open it with my admin command shell, then no prompt is spawned at all. 